Hello. Hi. So, what's your name? My name is Safa Marwa. Okay. And what should I call you? Uh, you can call me Safa. So, where do you live? I live in Tangail. It's my hometown. Okay. Now we are going to start our spinning test one, part one. So, how do you usually spend your weekend? Okay. Um, usually, I don't have that much plan for my weekends at, and I just go through the flow. Sometimes I can uh, I make some plans with my friends to go out. We can have some uh, hangout times. Uh, we go in some restaurants to uh, have some quality food and quality time. We can watch movie together. And most of all, I like to uh, spend my time with my family in weekends because uh, all the week I remain so much busy so I can't you know have some proper conversations or have a proper meal with them so I really like to spend time and more time in the weekends with my family besides this I like to give some time to myself I like to pamper myself in my free time like watching movies and do some skincare and makeup as i'm a makeup freak person so yeah that's how i spend my weekend okay which is your favorite part of the weekend um there is no such favorite part of the weekend uh, but yes the favorite part i must say that having much more time with my family because um yeah Especially, I can make plans for traveling in the weekends because uh, you know when we uh, make some plans to tour for tour or travel, um, most of the time we don't have enough. You know, we have so busy schedule for traveling. So uh, in the weekends, as we remain free and we have no classes, no works, so we can easily plan for some tour. So uh, we can go somewhere far from the city, or far from my home. So it can, you know, it can uh, it boost up for the next week or the next time when uh, we uh, next we can do much work. Like we can uh, concentrate on our. Uh, schedule more so yeah the best part is i think uh, for me in the weekend is uh, having some quality time with my family and friends and yeah i like to cook when i get you know some free time like exploring some cooking uh, habits of mine that's it okay do you think we can do long enough mm, sorry do you think we can do long enough um as i get two days uh for weekends i think um if we make some you know we make some plans for our weekends and we uh do according to this it's enough for it's enough two days is i think enough for weekends or maybe uh as we remain so much busy in the uh, in all the five days in a week so uh, the two days can be more relaxing if we make some plans before that what we we'll, uh, we will do in our weekends so we can utilize it properly and um if there are more than two days in the weekends for uh, usually three or four days so i guess we would love to have more uh, i mean five or six days weekend so it wouldn't be that much helpful so i think yeah this two days are enough weekends okay how important do you think it is so have free time at the weekend yeah free time at the weekend is very important because uh, I believe that um, you know giving ourselves some time uh, is very um, important because if we do not care or pamper ourselves nobody will so in the free time in weekends we can pamper ourselves we can nurture our hobbies we can do some favorite stuff of us and we can spend some uh, family time and friend time so uh, if we do not remain free in the weekends also um i think it will be it, it will make our life more stressful and <clears throat> the stress will also hamper our future you know plans or works 
So it's really important to have some free time on the weekend. Now we are moving to speaking test one, part two. Okay. Describe someone you know who does something well. You should say who the person is, how you know the person, what they do well. Okay. Um, I would like to say about my uh, university friend, Anik Mojandar. Uh, he is really my close friend and uh, one thing I must admit that he is really a good musician. I mean, he composes his own music, he sings it and he like make lyrics himself. And he is uh, with music for over 10 years and every time he makes a new song, it is just amazing. I mean, it amazes like, us all. I have seen him uh, singing and playing uh, guitar in various programs in our university programs or in restaurants and uh, whenever he plays the guitar his uh, when his finger glides over the guitar strings like it creates uh, you know a magic it's a true magic and I think um, every person should uh, go with their passion in, uh, when we make passion or profession it really helps uh, help us to you know uh, really grow in our future and uh, I must say that Onik is really a true inspiration for all of us at least for me uh, because as I am also a music lover so uh, yeah I must say that uh, uh, everyone should uh, go with their passion and if we follow it uh, we can make uh, um, shining or near future uh, so yes it is my friend who I really admit to be a good musician and I hope that he will um, do very um, good music in near future let's move to speaking this one part three what skills and abilities do people most want to learn today and why okay I think um, Today, uh, the most, um, you know, valued skills uh, which people really want to achieve uh, is in technology because, um, you know, as we are living in a modern age, uh, if we have some skills over technology like computer science and programming and all, we can really have a good future on it and the skills also helps in, you know, in various job sectors. Because whenever we are, uh, we apply into a job, or whatever kind the of job is, I think the if you have good skill on technologies or computer, you can do very well in every sectors, and you are you will be also appreciated through it. So, yes, I think the skills in technology is very important nowadays. So your next question is, which skill do you think will be important in the future, and why? Okay, it's really difficult uh, to, you know, assume for the future that which skill will be really um, valued or uh, important in this future. But uh, as in recent days, I think um, the good entrepreneur skills, as um, uh, for past two years, we have gone through the COVID situations, uh, you will notice that uh, many of the young people, many of young people have started entrepreneurship. Uh, maybe they are in good in different sectors. Some some people are good in marketing. Some are doing digital marketing, and some are doing their business with like foods and clothes and all. So yeah, entrepreneurship will be, I think, a great uh, will bring a great future for the young generation. And beside this, uh, I think the skill which which will really help that as we are uh, living in bangladesh our country is um, a developing country and we are nearly you know lagging behind from america for 100 years so as they are developed and they're developing te because of their technologies their people are more you know skilled in technology and also i think uh, if we encourage our young people in learning entrepreneurship and um, to be more skilled in technology uh, and the uh, you know the practical study, uh, it will be more helpful in the job sectors. Uh, it doesn't matter it in, in their own country or the foreign country to be valued. I think. Okay, which kind of jobs have the highest salary in your country, and why is it? Why is it? 
Um, in my country, I uh, mostly noticed that uh, the high salary jobs are mostly for the people who are uh, you know engaging in um, the medical fields or the engineering fields because yeah it has a uh, for a good reason it has a good purpose also because i think the uh, people who are in uh, you know working in these fields are really uh, highly capable and and they have also a high educational knowledge Besides this, the uh, people who are doing business, I mean, they are working in some business firms, uh, the e-commerce sectors are also growing. So, yeah, I say I must say that these sectors are really going, are going well and they are um, also paying good for the sectors. Okay. Some people say that it would be better for society if everyone got the same salary. What do you think about that and why? No, I totally disagree with that because I don't think that everyone deserves the same salary because uh, uh, everyone doesn't have the same skill or everyone doesn't have the same knowledge. There are a lot of people who have a lot of knowledge but they are, you know, they are dying for getting a job and they are not getting into it because uh, in our country the corruption is the big problem and uh, in some important posts there are a lot of corrupted people and I'm, I I say I will say that they don't have that much skill I mean they should have but um, yeah I should say that you know treating all the people with same salary uh, isn't a good idea because if you are capable of something you should pay for it. you should be paid for it but you are not capable uh, of it you should you know uh, i think it will mean some injustice to those who are more capable than you to you know be paid and valued with the same amount of money so yeah i disagree with this you know okay. statement why should any young person choose to become a doctor so it has become a tradition uh, especially in our country that every parent wants uh, the child to be a doctor in their future uh, maybe just because uh, the only thing that this is only the prof medical profession through which a person can serve their own country uh, but I think uh, it has a great impact when a child or a, a, you know a person is told in their childhood they say yeah you will become a doctor that in this thing the, this thing just you know uh, get into their minds that he or she will have to be a doctor and that time they maybe they don't do not have any knowledge about profession or something they just get into uh, the flow that they would have to become a doctor but i think the medical profession or becoming a doctor isn't that everyone's cup of tea uh, you should work hard you should study a lot and first of all you have to be the motiv uh, self you have to be self motivated and you have to uh, you know, you know, uh, you have to get the gut to uh, getting into the medical profession because it's uh, really hard for someone who doesn't have uh, that mu that much, you know, expect uh, that much um, strength, or uh, they just get into this profession out of family pressure. It really creates some, so many problems in their near future. So uh, I think uh, the medical profession uh, should. You know should be created for only for those child or those people who really want to achieve or pursue their career in medical profession not because of their parents have told them to be a doctor yes that's it okay thanks for your test